G'day, I'm Craig Day, a member of the Industry Technical Council with an update on mass management compliance using air suspensions. Recently, we've seen some consignors and consignees impose an underload policy when loading bulk product, an overcautious approach to the chain of responsibility. This seems to be mainly on the basis that single deck waverages can't provide an indication of individual group masses. To avoid impacting productivity, the ITC has developed a technical bulletin to outline the proper practices of mass management using air suspension, including suspension setup. This is the most important step, regardless of which proprietary air pressure base system that you select. Next one is suspension calibration. Then we have to look and make sure that the combination is on level ground. Um, probably one of the most hardest things to achieve in practice. Brakes must be all released uh, to allow the air suspension to settle at its proper position um, and allowing adequate time for the suspension to recover whilst you're loading. For more information, view the technical bulletin at the ATA website.